welcome back to our youtube channel hope you're all doing well and welcome back to a brand new video this video is a very exciting one because we are currently on our way to the train station because we are going to spend a few days in the city no 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 it's america we're, we're going, going to, to learn learn to buy a heat magazine, magazine. We're you going know we use that quite a lot don't we do we every time we go to london we're going to learn yeah we always sing that song Sorry if you can hear like the blowers. So we've got a bit of a wardrobe malfunction going on. Um, this jumper was in the wash. So yeah, that's just currently drying. I don't actually think it's gonna be dry by the time we get there. Uh, oh, it's not, we're literally I like mean, a second away. It's still very, very wet. But hey ho, we live. We move on. And we learn. We, we can't do we that learn not it. to do that again. Um, anyway, so yeah, we are going for a few days. We're currently on our way to the train station now. Just pause, Elf. Don't you think that is a beautiful building? Yeah, we always say that, don't we? University it? of York. It's stunning. What a beautiful it's building. It's absolutely that. stunning. It's like a really old, oldy worldy building, oldie, isn't it? Oldy worldy building. Um, but yeah, we're currently on the way to the train station. I feel like it's really early, but it's actually not. It's like, what time is it? It's not that early for a train. It's 20 past eight. Session so actually, it's not that early at all. Yeah. Um, and our train's at five to nine trains at five to nine and i was just gonna say that even though it's not that early i feel like you know when you get up to go on holiday really really early and yeah. you feel like that sicky feeling that's how i feel i don't know why it's not even early no no i mean it's early for a sunday yeah it's definitely early for a sunday to be up and out in it but i know what you feel mean that like early airport feeling yeah and i think it's because i'm hungry breakfast yeah, and, yeah but there's a saying. starbucks in the train station Costa. at york no there's a starbucks oh you're getting a starbucks Oh, you mean the wrap? It is Costa. You it knew is. what I was going to say then, didn't know. you? I was one You read my ahead. mind, yeah. I did feel like I did was Did you feel the same thing? Did I you felt get... like I was going to get a wrap and then, was, you know, you went Starbucks route, I went Costa route. Yeah, no, you are right. Yeah. There is a Starbucks there, but Tommy's right. What I was going on to say was, I was going to say Starbucks do a really nice breakfast wrap, but actually it's Costa that did a really nice breakfast yeah, wrap. And we really like them, but they don't always have them when we go. So, fingers crossed. I'm really in the mood for a coffee breakfast wrap. Really in the mood for that. But anyways, again, rambling on in the intro. If you are excited to spend a couple of days with us in London, then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. We're a little bit like mm, with the weather as well. We don't know what the weather's gonna be like, so it's a bit We've got difficult. mixed weather reports, haven't we? Like yeah. rain, bit of sun, but still warm, and it's like, ah, yeah. what are we gonna get? So it says in London for the next two days, it's meant to be cloudy but warm, which is fine. But then for the last two days, it says rain. Yeah. But so still warm. Packing for this London trip was a nightmare. I always find packing, I think I said this in the last vlog, but I always find packing for like city breaks or short breaks or like long weekends. I always find that really difficult. They're the hardest ones to pack. I'd rather pack, well, not rather, it's easier to pack for a two week holiday. holiday. To for Florida than it is. Yeah, because you know it's going to be hot. You know what it's going to be like. You know what yeah. clothes you this need. This one you need night outfits, day outfits, warm outfits, yeah. cold outfits. Oh. And I haven't even packed a coat. Yeah, I think we've slipped a cripple in there. And I, you know, we, we haven't packed coats. But it's hard because if it's going to rain but be warm, do you want a coat if it's going to be warm? I don't want to get wet. And be brolly, wet. We'll, take we'll take a brolly. We'll take a brolly. Brolly. But anyways, this is what I mean. Wardrobe malfunctions already. The pack the jumper. Yes, Let's hope it stops there. They have like a concierge out. surface that take your bags basically yeah. and you drop them off and we're just free spirits now in London. Yeah, so we just free went and got an ice cream from like a little ice cream van. Yeah. And it didn't have price or anything on so we just bought two ice creams. Fifteen pounds for two ice creams. I'm gonna have two ice creams. That is a lot of money for two yeah, ice creams, but mine was lovely but like to top it all off yours was horrible, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, a, it was supposed to be Oreo. It just wasn't. It was meant to be an it Oreo ice cream. It wasn't. I Standard Mr. Whippy with strawberry sauce. Do you know I've not had strawberry sauce since I was a kid? I didn't have strawberry sauce. I was just thinking that for the longest amount of time. It was time. so nice as well, though. Yeah. 
But then we came, we just wandered through. On your first day, you don't really have no plan as such, do you? No, we Like, don't. we've just come for a wander around. We've come down on, I don't know what the strip's called, but like, where Big Ben is and things it's where like that. where the um, Big Wheel is. What's it called? London, London Eye. Eye. London Eye. Um, and then obviously on this little stretch of road, um, there's all the street probably hear it in the background, yeah. actually. There's all the street performers and whatnot. So I feel like that's a big part of London, the street performers. Oh, it is. Like we keep saying that like, we come to London quite often. But yeah. But we don't really vlog it because we do, we don't come to really do anything like no. for a purpose. So, yeah. Like, seeing the street performers is actually really nice. And yeah. I think we said in the last vlog like this um, trip we just want to be like tourists. Yeah, we just want to chill. Touristy things. Yeah. That we don't normally do. However, right, we've had a little bit of a, a little bit of a change of plan, haven't we? Where? Yeah, so we were gonna do the bus tour tomorrow. Oh yeah. You get like a 48 hour ticket, so it runs for two days. And we're thinking Tuesday we've got like a hellish busy day. We've got a lot planned on that day, haven't we? Yeah. So will we really get to use the bus tour? And I don't think we will. So another stream performance. Uh, okay, people. I Just starting his set. Nice. Anyway, back to the bus tour. Um, so if we do it today, we get it today and tomorrow. Sorry, so I can't, I can't focus on. I'm just listening to the show about. Before I start the show, everyone, before I start the show, I am, I am going to set up the stage. Yeah. I just set it up. Just set it up the stage. Well, but yeah, we get the bus stop two days, so we'll utilise it today and tomorrow rather than tomorrow and Tuesday. Hey, up. Padlock bridge. Do you know what I noticed that when we came? That there was a few padlocks. Yeah. And is that true, actually? That I saw it somewhere that the padlock bridge is in Paris. And they have to get rid of it. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine putting your padlock on that bridge and then having to get rid of it? Yeah, but I do realise why they've got rid of it. Oh, yeah. I'd like to have done that years ago I'm and then come back and see if you've had one yeah. years later. Yeah, that'd yeah, be cool. Yeah. Anyway, so blabbering on. So, we are going to go and get the bus tour, like Tom just said. We are massive fans of the bus tour. We've not done it in quite a while. I think we actually did it like, did it last year when we vlogged it, I think. When we were like tourists. We do it like this. Once a year, we have a tourist week in London. The, the amount of times we're here, we feel like we miss all the tourist stuff when yeah. we are here, so we need like one day to do it. Do yeah, you know I mean? and the bus tour's good because it takes you up like round all the like iconic places. Yeah. It's really good. We've been on a couple once. There was, in fact, I say once, most of the time you just put headphones in and like, there's like someone talking to you. But once we went on it, there was an actual person stood with a microphone in the front, and that was actually really cool. Which one do you prefer? Like someone actually stood doing it or headphones. Yeah. 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 I think I prefer the actual yeah, maybe person. Do. Yeah, maybe do okay, prefer that actually. And there's all different routes as well, so like, there's obviously little, little boy, loads of different stuff you show. can do on the bus. You can do it a little boy. So yeah, we're probably going to listen stop. to this man, whatever if he's doing, the and then we're going to go to the bus tour. Just got on the bus tour. Which one did we get on? What was it called? The toot oh. bus tour. The toot. Now this one's a new one because we always go for the same one. It's yeah. We usually go for the big bus tour, is it called? Yeah, big bus tour, which is in front of us, but we decided against that. Oh, sorry, Sam. On, yeah. We decided against that because we've done it three or four Is times. Is that one? Thought. That's one we usually go on. It's really good. It's a good one. But so we just thought we'll do something different. Do this one plus this guy's got this one's got a live. Yeah, I was just gonna say that we were saying before we came on. Oh my god, it's windy. We always like to sit on the top, don't we? And um, we were saying before we came on, are we gonna have a proper person or are we gonna have headphones? This one's got the best of both worlds. Yeah. We've actually got both. Well, you put your headphones in to listen to him because I can't hear him from here. He's sat at the front, but with yeah. your headphones, you can hear him talking, yeah. not just the commentary. It's which is good. really good. Really. But which routes does it do? So there's two routes I think on this one. So we have. Hmm. Look upon my map. I mean, if this isn't touristy, I don't know what this is. This is very touristy, isn't it? There's two routes. We've got yellow and blue routes. Yellow is your main <laughs> route. If you can get this, it's very windy. Yeah. Um, yellow is the main route, which is going to take us around St Paul's Cathedral, the Shard, London Tower of London, Big Ben. Like Covent Garden, London Eye, All that, that kind, kind of thing. Then you've got blue route, which takes you like round Chelsea and Knights. Harrods. Yeah, them all kind them of So which you've got, obviously all the bus tours will do the same Yeah, they all do route. similar routes. But I think they all do pretty much the exact same route. Yeah, but I do. But we thought we'd just swap it up a bit. And the good thing is as well, we bought it for 48 hours to get it for like two days. So we're going to do one route, one route, 
One room, one room. One room, one room. One day, and then another room with another day. And also, on our ticket, we get the river, river cruise. So, we're going to do that as well? Yeah, because we did that once. It was actually quite nice. But it was just, freezing cold. Oh my god, we were getting. I think we did it in like November. Yeah, and we were literally like shivering, like not listening to the commentary because we were so cold, just huddled to each other like this, and it was not great. So, we never actually like listened to any of the commentary or anything. Yeah. So, that would be good to do. And actual fun fact about me as well, I love. Sorry, I always do this. I always start saying something and something catches my eye. There's a massive sign in front of us for Mary Poppins. I would love to see that musical. I'd definitely love to see I would that. absolutely love to see that musical. Yeah. Um, but fun fact about me, I love like anything history, don't I? I think you do as well, actually. Yeah, oh, yeah, big history. Like, books. I love, like, sat on here, like, learning about the history of London. I absolutely love it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 100%. But, like, anything absolutely. like that, I really, really enjoy it. There's like this boat, but it's like, um, it's a bar, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bar on a boat. We went, actually, last time we came, I think, to there, didn't we? Or was yeah, it the time before? It was like raining and we were the only ones there. Yeah. Was it last time? That had been the no, time just after COVID, time, yeah. and that's, yeah, I think that's why it was so dead. Um, but yeah, there's like, a, it just looks like a massive boat, but it's a bar on the boat. So we went and sat on there. And luckily as well, as we sat down, the sun like started beaming, didn't it? it was absolutely boiling when we were sat on there. I had a black t-shirt on and honestly the sun was just hitting my back and yeah. burning me. It was so warm but it was so, so nice. Yeah, and there was loads of people on there so it was good atmosphere in that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. So we sat on there for quite a while, we had a few drinks on there, just like watching the day go by, people watching, which is our favourite thing to do. Um, and then obviously we went on the bus, which you'd have seen. We went on the, what route did we do? Blue? Yellow? Yellow. Yellow on that one, I think. Yellow. So thoughts on the bus. We love the bus tour. We really like it because like we mentioned earlier on, like, we like to see like the history and stuff like that. But I would, if we did it again, I'd do the bus tour we did last time or the one we did this time. Would you agree? Completely agree. The big bus tour is a million miles better than the two to bus tour. Yeah, so the one we've done this time is called the two to bus tour, whereas the one we usually do is called the big bus tour. The, yeah, big bus the organisational skills on the two to bus tour just it's not no, great. It wasn't great. It wasn't great, but it was fine. It, it was still good, and we've got the other route, obviously, to do, like we said. We only did one of the routes. Um, what else did we do? We went and sat in Leicester Square on the little deck chair things, and again, just watched the day go by. We, we watched some street performers. Watched some street performers. Stopped for a drink, had a walk around. Just, like, really chilled yeah. on it. Um, anyways, now we're getting ready, because tonight we've actually got a table book to actually just say, like, look at look at my arm compared to my face i'm literally like casper the ghost i really need to start for exam again it's so bad um but yeah we've got a dinner reservation booked at club mexicana club mexicana drinks out free full of sunshine there's enough for everyone um i don't think it says club mexicana in there does it who knows? Um, so yeah, Club Mexicano, which is a uh, Mexican, obviously, in Soho. Yeah. In Soho, which we've never been to before, actually. We were recommended it, so we're going to try that, mm. which and looks also, nice. Also, we have the rooftop bar tonight. Yeah, and we also have a rooftop bar booked as well for after that, called... LQS? LQ something. We'll show you, obviously, when we're there. Um, so they're the plans for tonight. And then tomorrow we've actually got a show booked, which I'm very excited for because West End shows are like my favourite thing. We're actually going to see Grease Lightning. Go Grease Lightning. <laughs> Why are we always going to sing songs? Literally. Um, but yeah, we're going to see Grease, which I'm, I'm, I'm excited. 
excited for? Are you excited for that? Tell me you've got a pound coin stuck to your back, babe. <laughs> um, are you excited to see Grace? Yeah. He's on the floor now. Ah, uh, are you excited to see Grace? Yeah. He's like one of the ones you wouldn't, you don't mind. I'm not that bothered. But no. Yeah, if you enjoy it, then I will enjoy it. Yeah. So we're going to see Grace, um, and then actually we got suckered in to another show, which we're going to go see on Wednesday, we didn't get Tuesday. In so we only actually had Greece booked for tomorrow night and then we walked past, we went to see Matilda years ago, like I'm talking seven, eight years maybe Tom? It was when we first got together, the first time we ever came to London. So it'd have been about seven, eight years ago, which obviously is a long time. And like we both really, even you enjoyed Matilda, didn't you? Like a lot. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It was really good and then we walked past it and I was like, oh my God Tom, Matilda's still on. So we got suckered in. We've also booked to go see that for the night after. So we've got some shirts booked. But yeah, anyway, so tonight we're just going to go meal and drinks. I'm really excited. I'm really like looking forward to Mexican. I feel like Mexican's not a place that we go to that often for food, is it? No. Like we never really go out for a Mexican. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, I'm just going to finish getting ready now and then we will head off. Are you hungry? Starving. We haven't really eaten much today. I've eaten nothing. We had breakfast at the train station and we've had an ice cream and that's it. Yeah. That's literally it. So we're both like proper ready for food. We're now out for tea. Like I said earlier on, it's a Mexican called Club Mexicana. Club Mexicana. Club Mexicana. How would you describe where this is? Uh, a really <laughs> mint place. We've never seen it before, but it basically like goes... I don't know. I don't really know how to... How to describe where it is, would you? It's like, it's just like off the main street, it's just off Oxford Street, it's a back street but it's just full of bars, restaurants and just like real quirky places like that. Yeah, like we've, we've never been down here but it's really nice, yeah. like I said earlier on we got recommended this place and we love a Mexican so we wanted to try it. Um, also, apologies if you can't really hear us popping, it's really loud, like it's really lively down here, I feel yeah. like this is like nightlife Oh yeah, here. this, yeah. Definitely. This will be where it, like bars and restaurants happen at Yeah, night. 100%. Anyways, we've just ordered. We've both gone for... Is that no? You went to different? Yeah, I did, yeah. I went to the cheeseburger burrito, which sounds amazing. Sounds good. I was going to get that if you were. Yeah, and you've gone... Tommy's gone for the cheeseburger tacos. And then we've got one portion of curly fries. Yeah, it's skinny fries, but they are curly fries. Yeah, and then we've got a portion of nachos, obviously, with guacamole. Um, and then drink-wise... Refreshing. Um, Mexican beer. Here's a taste test then. A taste test? Are you not taste testing this? Yeah, we'll do. Oh. She said it's not good. Cool. It says Karma Cola. Oh. oh. It's like a cider and beer mix. What are you thinking? I'm not taking by it. I mean, it'll do. It is what it is. But you're not loving that, you can tell by your face. It's not amazing. Aww. Is this going to be fun? Do you know what that tastes like? You know the Coca-Cola ice pops that you can get? Oh yeah. Not feeling it. You try it. No, I don't want to. Just try it. I don't want to try it. Really quick service, wasn't it? Like, a little bit too fast. I feel like I feel like Tommy's regretting his decision already. Oh, they were he went for the tacos, and you thought you'd ordered a fajita, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I, I got mixed up with tacos slash fajita. Fajita. Uh, so he's got tacos. I'm glad you got three and not one though, because they're very small. If you'd have just got the one. Small, so yeah, Tom's got tacos. I've got a burrito, but we'll just share. We've got skinny fries, um, but they're what they're called. 
fries. Curly fries. Curly fries and then nachos, which look like this. They look mega. What was that like? You just tried? Really nice. The cheese is like perfect. Nachos. Is it like um? Florida cheese, you know, like proper melted cheese. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the melted we, stuff. Not we, the... Find we compare everything. Yeah, we do. We probably need to stop doing that. Well, especially when we're not even in America. Yeah. Meal finished. Not gonna lie, I would not recommend that place. I don't just... want to recommend it to you because it just was not. I'm nice not saying. All. No, I'm not saying. Like, no, the place it wasn't. Was... Let's be completely honest. It was not nice. Okay. None of us enjoyed it. The meal was great. I mean, to be fair, everyone likes different things, so maybe you guys might like it, but I love a Mexican. Um, I love a Mexican. If I did not enjoy that, no. No. The, the best part of it was the curly fries. Yeah, definitely. So, so hopefully this that. rooftop cocktail bar is tip top. Yeah, we've just got to the rooftop bar that we were telling you all about. What's it called? LSQ. LSQ. Oh, it says it there. LSQ. I think it's a hotel. But the rooftops are bar, which anybody can go to if you book. Is that, is that right? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Um, but honestly, oh god, I've not even seen it in there. Look at the rooftops in there. I know, wow. Honestly, it is absolutely stunning. I don't even feel like videos, pictures, or anything is going to do any of this justice. This but I'll show you. I'll show you the view in a second. One of you guys actually recommended this to us, so thank you so much. I think, Tom, you put a question box on your yeah, Instagram. So thank you so much to whoever it was that recommended that. Um, but the drinks look really cool as well. There's loads of like cocktails, um, but they're like, named after like places in London. So for example, Tom is going for the Shard, which you can't really I'm see. the Shard or Leicester Square. So the Shard... Oh, no, like the Shard or London Eye. Right, so tell <laughs> us what's in the Shard. The Shard, we have broken clock vodka. Never heard of it. Blue Karuka. Broken clock vodka won't be an actual vodka. Is it not something to do with the shard, that? Yeah, I don't know. Ah. It just says broken clock vodka. Ah. Grenadine and passion fruit puree. Oh, nice. So, and what was the other one? London Eye, rhubarb and, gin, rhubarb and ginger ju gin. Yeah. But that was hard to get out. <laughs> Lime wedges, a slice of apple, apple juice topped with ginger ale. I feel like you'll like the shard. And then I have gone for a prawn sal martini, obviously. I feel Your like, yeah, that is my go-to cocktail. I'm not really much of a cocktail person usually. I prefer like a rosé, white wine, yeah. prosecco. Like usually I would opt for a glass of bubbly or something over a cocktail but a part of that martini like I feel though, like is just a lead. When you're in a place like this though, don't you just feel like, like I wouldn't necessarily, I wouldn't I feel like you should cocktail. try, yeah I feel like you should try new ones but I'm not. I've never heard of the Shard so. No, I it'll mean, be a bespoke one to hear. Hopefully it comes like fancy. Yeah, I wonder what it's going to come like. Exactly, this is another thing with cocktails, like the way they come and the way they... The presented, have, the way they're presented. What you'll find with me is like, I, I appreciate the effort that people go to to yeah. stand out a little bit, yeah. like decor or the way the drink comes. We like that, don't we? We like love it. that type of that like, little finishing touch. Yeah, we love stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, we really yeah, yeah. do. But I do love a Parmesan martini. I also like um, an espresso martini. I do really yeah, like that. I feel like... Have you, not, have you had one of those? Yeah, I, love. I thought you'd have really liked that. No, it's just, I'm not an espresso man. I like coffee, but I don't like espresso. Mm, yeah, I get you. So. I feel like the reason I don't like love cocktails is because I can't stand. You know, like when you get a drink and it tastes like proper like alcohol. Do you know what I mean? Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, like a shot. Oh, I'm not a shot person, am I? Like no. the only thing I can shot is a sours. Like I'm not a shot kind of gal at all. Um, but yeah, some cocktails I feel like they're really, really strong tasting of alcohol. Whereas for me, nice cocktail is when you can't really taste the alcohol. That's my favourite kind of cocktail. You know, when it just tastes really fruity and you can't really taste the alcohol. Because I feel like in some cocktails, like the alcohol is so strong and I'm not a massive fan of that. But anyways, we'll probably try a few more. Who knows? Who knows what's going to go in the flow? But honestly, this place. I don't even know what the hotel's called, do you, Tom, to tell them? I have not got a scoop. I haven't. We it's in Leicester out. Square. We'll show you when we go out, but... We yeah, even even like the place inside, like the actual, like, indoors bits Just stunning. Beautiful. And Leicester Square is such a lively place as well. I feel like, what better place for a rooftop bar to be in than Leicester no, Square? You can't get better views than this. Drinks have come. <laughs> Tom's looks so cool. Like, I, I don't would, the cameras again not even doing that justice. I'm not even bothered with that. It's cost me sixteen pounds that drink. Yeah. I don't even care. It's like blue, green, orange, and then red. That is worth with 16 a bit of passion fruit. Do you know what I'm saying? Presentation. Right Presentation's key. Look at the. But the, the question is now, Tom, is it going to be nice? I'm By the way, look all that in the background. So stunning. Does it look good? Yeah. So do you. Hmm. What love. <laughs> You're beautiful. Thank you. 
Is it nice? Do you like Try it? it? Okay. That. We'll do a, you do a taste test on mine and all because you know what a porn star my taste is like. Good in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like something you would get on holiday. Yeah, I thought that. But like a better version yeah. of one of them all inclusive cocktails. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I don't actually know why I've got my sunglasses on my head still, I'm not gonna lie. It's really sunny. Run. It was really sunny when we came out though, on it yeah, earlier on when we went for taste, I put them on but anyway. Um I'm not gonna lie guys. I think I found my new favourite cocktail and it's Tommy's. Well, like, I'm... And, and not a cocktail that will be done anywhere else, I don't think. No, think oh a... no. This is a LSQ special. Speciality. They all but are. I like that more than the porn star, so I'm gonna get that next. But Tom's just looking at the menu to see what he's gonna get there's next. I think he's found one right up his street. There's Tell us what's in it. <laughs> right, no, I'm just gonna run through them, right? There's the rooftop. Yeah. The sky view. Yeah. The walkie talkie, the shard, summer lemonade at the mall, Leicester Square, London Eye. The Tate Modern, the Nelson's Tower, St Paul's, Amaretto Sour, then you go to North. Right, just tell us the one that you think sounds really good. I don't know if the Amaretto Sour sounds really good. Right, so what's in it? <laughs> it's luxury Amaretto, which is lovely. luxury, but Amaretto. Yeah. Lime juice, sugar syrup, and egg whites. <laughs> that would be absolutely vile. It won't be vile. Yeah, it will. It won't be. Do you know you were just going back to the espresso martini? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salted caramel <gasps> espresso ooh, martini. Oh, nice. And it's. Is it just an espresso martini with salted caramel? No. It's a lit vodka. I don't know what a lit vodka is. No. Bailey's. Nice. Salted caramel syrup. Oh, nice. Espresso shot. I think that'll be really nice. Now that could be. Second drinks have come. I'm not going to lie, guys. I feel like that's gone to my head a little bit. Really? <laughs> yeah. Right, so we both went for different. I was obviously going to get the one that Tommy got last time. But I thought, do you know what? Let's mix it up. Let's try something different. Let's go out of our comfort zone. Yeah. But you're going to have to have some of this. I'm going to drink all that. We'll try them both. We'll try Right, it. okay. So. Oh, you are right. Yeah. This one is the salted caramel yeah. espresso martini. I feel like that's a good one to finish off the night. I feel like an espresso no, martini is a nice palette. one for like to finish the night, like a nice mm. coffee. Yeah. And what did you go for? This is called the walkie talkie, but I'm not 100% sure. I just, the volume of drink inside that is not the same as the volume. No, of drink it's not. Well. And I bet it's the same price as well. Yeah. Right, go on, do the taste test. Ow. <laughs> Oh, not feeling that one. Oh no. Do you know what? It's the worst feeling ever, isn't it? No, when you, you know what? It's that the worst feeling ever when you get a cocktail and then you don't like it. That was just pure whatever the alcohol, like pure. It's dry gin, you said. Gin. And do you know what? That's the one that Tommy said a minute ago to me. You'd love that, Elle. Yeah, I thought you would. You, you probably will. If that's stirred, I bet that's nice. But I don't know until I stir it. So, so far, because you guys know we love to do a rating. What would you say your first drink was? I'd give it a 10, 10. out of 10. That's 100%. the nicest cocktail I've ever had. Yeah, I'm actually going to say that's better than a porn star. Yeah, really porn good. star was a... That was a 6 for a porn star. It wasn't, wasn't the nicest. Oh, burnt what about that one? What's that? So far, I'll give you an honest rating after. Right. I stirred it. Yeah. Um, but at the minute, I just tasted pure gin. So pure gin oh. tastes like a, maybe a 3 out of 10. <laughs> Right, you try mine. No, you, you taste yours. No, you try and both first. All right, and then, you and then I'll try and both, right. yeah. Nah, still bad. Oh, no, really? Have we messed up with these two? That's a, you'll like that. It's just an espresso. Oh, can you not taste a the... hint of caramel? Oh. Hint. It's not like a caramel latte. I thought it was going to be like really salty, really caramelly, yeah, like I really thick. So what was that? Six, oh, so it's better than yours. Uh, oh yeah, I'm better. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, Here we go. Go on. <laughs> Not feeling that one else. <laughs> By the way, Harry Potter. Could we have got any more themed? When I was saying a minute ago, I can't stand cocktails that you can taste the alcohol. That's a prime example. I just think it's not stirred. I feel like the alcohol is here, but it's just not stirred yet. Oh, but it's weird, right? Please let me know in the comments down below. But 
I like cocktails when they don't really taste of alcohol. Like, I love, Brilliant. I love the taste of wine, the taste of Prosecco. Like, love, you might, I like the taste of some alcohol. Why don't you get cider, mocktails? Fruit cider. That's not a good idea, actually. It is, isn't it? Um, I like, love the taste of fruit cider. It's not like I don't like alcohol, but with a cocktail, I don't like it. You like you you like it when you can taste the alcohol in a cocktail. Yeah. Not a bit of me. Right. Gives a taste of the caramelised espresso martini. What are you thinking to that? Oh, we didn't like that either. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's better than yours. <laughs> it is, isn't it? My ratings were pretty much nigh on perfect, weren't they? Yeah, right. The first little sip before it went down the hole, that tasted like, you know them um, drinks you can get from McDonald's, them salted caramel, do you know what I mean? No. Yeah, you did, sort of caramel frappes. I just like the little cat and things. No, the frappuccino, the sort of caramel frappuccino. All right, okay, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when you actually taste it, you can proper taste vodka. Wow. Maybe if you couldn't taste as much vodka. Ratings? The one you've got is a one. A one? And that one I've got is a... It's better than the porn star. So maybe I'm going to push the porn star to five and give that a six. Wow. Guys, please remind me not to feel too adventurous and just buy a random cocktail again because that is disgusting i'm actually gonna i'm even gonna put that lower tom both Me of them and like, we both just said to each other why do we do this like when you find something you like why do you feel like to taste something else why don't you just get it again if you like to? why did we feel so like oh let's be adventurous when we just ra it. we rated that first one a 10 out of 10 so why not just get that because we know we love it do you know what i mean yeah. But instead of thinking, oh, let's let's try the full menu. Cause... <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, honestly, drink. Oh. they are both not good. That one's that one's harsh. No. I'm at the, they're both at zero. They're like disqualified from the game. Just try mine now. It's all no, 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 no. I can't. Please. I'm sorry. No, thank you. Please. No. <laughs> I'll try yours. I did a full mouthful. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's... <laughs> oh, I did a full mouthful of yours. You didn't even drink none of that. Tommy, I did. It's minging. <laughs> that is actually disgusting. It's absolutely vile. That's done me over now. Is it you? Finish off? Yeah. Is it? No, no cocktail. No. Right. Cocktails out for the evening, I think. Out for the because I actually forgot to say before we came here, we actually went to another bar, didn't we? Yeah, we went to another bar just because we had like half an hour to kill before this so reservation. We're into all bar one. All bar one, which we're liking there. Yeah. Anyways, we are gonna, I mean, are we actually gonna finish some drinks? 100%. Are you gonna finish mine? If you're not gonna take drink one for the team, yeah, yeah. Good for you. Thank you. Good I'm for not you. Gonna waste them. So we're gonna sit and just admire the views because honestly, like, let me actually just show you the views quickly before we round off. Night. The views now, now that it's got a bit darker, honestly, absolutely yeah, stunning. There, it's like a real good view down there. Okay, let me go try and show you down there. It's absolutely stunning, especially the London Eye. Tommy's <laughs> just. I can just see him coming faces from like a mile away, but yeah. The views are stunning, so we're going to sit, we're going to admire the views, and we're probably going to call it a day away. Yeah. Hit the hay, is that the saying? Hit the hay, we're going to hit the, the hay. Same. So we're going to round it up for tonight, but we shall see you all in the morning. Good morning, everybody. So it is now the next day. I am talking fairly quietly because we're currently in Covent Garden, in like the main indoor bit. Like um, a courtyard type a of courtyard, thing? courtyard, yeah. We've just come down for some breakfast. We've never actually been here for breakfast before, but... It looks quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah, we wandered around for a bit and then found this place which looked like a little bit of a hidden gem. Yeah. Don't know. Rusting pipe wine oh, bar. Yeah. Rusting pipe wine bar, I think you can probably see it there um, in Covent Gardens, but they just had a full English breakfast and we were thinking it's fairly, it's not like early on today, what time is it? It's 10 past 10, so we thought we'll have kind of brunch today. Yeah. Instead of like breakfast and lunch, because we've got TGI Fridays booked for later on, which we're both very excited about because TGI's is like our favorite date night. Yeah, it's together, good, isn't it? it? Like we love, we love TGI Fridays. Um, last night the rooftop bar. What was the hotel called? Indigo. Hotel Indigo. So in Leicester Square, you'll see it. You can't really miss it. In Leicester Square, there's a hotel called Hotel Indigo. If you go in, 
they'll just say, do you want to go to the rooftop? You go straight up and that's where we were, but it was stunning, wasn't it? Um, one of the best places I've ever been. I'm not going to lie, that was a little bit tipsy after, <laughs> after I put the camera down, probably was like, let's just drink them both. So we actually ended up drinking them, didn't we? Yeah. Um, but it was a really, really nice night. I definitely recommend. If you just want like somewhere nice and chilled with nice views, you guys know us. We love like scenic views and things like that. Um, then I definitely recommend that. Now, plans for this morning, we are going to have some breakfast. I think we're then going to hop on the bus tour again, aren't we? Um, and we're going to go on the other route today, which... The blue route well. around Kensington and Chelsea. And yeah, we're going to have a little look around there. Um, we've also got the river... River cruise that we have to use cruise. by today yeah which we got included in the bus tour we're going to do that at some point again we'll probably just have a browse round we are being proper tourists aren't we and i'm yeah. loving it and then obviously we've got the show we've got the show this evening what show are we going to see this evening try and give us a hint oh <laughs> i was gonna say yeah no but i was gonna say try and give us a hint with like a song yeah so we're gonna go see greece the show tonight which we're both very very excited about and then i think what we're going to do is we're going to stop the vlog at the end of today and then we'll start a new vlog tomorrow and wednesday, wednesday. Yeah. so there's like two vlogs we don't want it to go on and on and on forever and bore yeah and um, but yeah we just started breakfast very very excited for it to come because i am really hungry you yeah. so i'm ready for this this breakfast looks unreal what are your thoughts so far so good doesn't it like i like so little stuff like when it's yeah Nah, we went for breakfast a couple of weeks ago and they did like their own baked beans. Didn't oh they? my well, god. Like, that's what I mean. Like, I like the effort they've gone to. They were disgusting they though. Nice. No, they weren't nice at all. This looks incredible. And I feel like this is just the perfect, the perfect fry up actually. Yeah. Do you? Like, with what we've got. I went for poached egg. We've got sausage, bacon, tomato, mushroom, and black pudding, which I won't be eating the black pudding. Hash brown beans and toast. Tom got the exact same, but he's got scrambled egg instead of poached. And this is the setting. I don't think I showed you it before. Just in Covent Gardens, absolutely stunning. We've even got ourselves a street performer. What an absolute stunning setting. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyways, Tom, what did we think to breakfast? Unbelievable. Like, on it. Just so beautiful. That was a 10 out of 10 breakfast, wasn't it? It was so good. It really was so good. Like, I'm absolutely stunned. Yeah, it's filled us up. It's fueled us. Oh, fueled us exactly up. what we needed. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're just walking past 10 Downing Street and we've just noticed there's actual like news, news report. reporters. Do you want we got bought past Tom? Do you want to get in the yeah, footage for the TV? <laughs> so if any of you are watching the news, you, you might see Tom. There could be news like anywhere. So um, and I'm in it then. Do we reckon Sorry. Buzz is gonna be there? Well, maybe we know what's happening in a minute, we might have a new Obviously, I know that. Also, off topic, but can I just say, do you know what my favourite thing about London is? It's the fact that people can just be who they want. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, like, do. you walk around and you see so many different people in so many different outfits and so many, like, what did he just say? Is that, did he say that's how you do a selfie? Yeah. I think he thought I was taking a selfie. Um, like literally people can just wear what they want and no one says anything. Do you know what I mean? Do you, yeah. do you think that? Gates are open. Sorry, I'm just, I'm taken back by all the news reports and stuff. Something's happening, someone's coming out with 10 down. Oh, quick. Let's get over there. Quick. So we think with the helicopter and all them people up there, which you cannot really see, are we electing our new prime minister today? That's just a guess. Just a guess. But we're not sure, but there's a lot happening. Yeah, they're all stood still. There's another one over there, stood still waiting. But then, if you. No, he's just practicing because they were doing it a minute ago. He's just getting his words right and stuff like that. He's not actually filming yet. But then, if you. I, I don't, you, you probably won't be able to see up there, but there is like a million news reporters, like big swinging arm oh, cameras. It's yeah, it's up. rising up. If we come past here. Oh, that's better. So, Els has just... You can actually see them having a conversation there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's got a green dress on. Els decided to watch the news while watching the news. <laughs> and it is. Tom was right. The next Prime Minister is going to be now. In an hour. So, are we staying here for an hour? <laughs> Els is buzzing. I love the behind the scenes stuff. 
but I can see that. I honestly thought it was Boris Johnson. Yeah, definitely one Boris Johnson. But I can actually see them People just keep coming out all the time. And it is a positive kind of scene. Yeah, yeah. Starbucks pit stop. I mean, it's like a ritual. I was gonna say wherever we are in the world, we will find. A we will find the Starbucks. I just and love it so can much. I actually just say, I've got my first pumpkin spice latte of the year. So cheers to all you autumn lovers out there. I'm just not interested. Tommy's still on the cold coffee. I will be. Do you know what? I'm gonna oh, actually be quite honest. I did ask for a strawberry acai with lemonade yeah, because did. so many of you guys have told me to get it with lemonade so I thought, do you know what, I'll try one. But they didn't have it. Oh, but it is the summer menu. Oh, is that it now? Oh. Oh, maybe they don't have it anymore. That's, That's really made me sad. That, was that is great. actually really made me sad. But someone actually said, I forgot to tell you in the comments the other day, apparently in the Disney park they do it all year round. Yeah, it's like, like Disney summer all year round. I was gonna so. say I feel like that would be like a real refreshing drink when you're in Disney. Hundred percent. Anyway, so I've got my pumpkin spice latte. The only thing is, usually I ask for it with two shots of the syrup, and I forgot. So it's a little bit strong, but still absolutely bloody gorgeous. And when I went bloody into gorgeous. Starbucks as well, they had like a massive shelf full of autumn goodness. They had like autumn like black ones of these um with like pumpkins and stuff on they had an, a pumpkin mug it was an orange pump it was a, it was a full-on pumpkin so i think i need to get that incredible anyways i think you should try this oh <laughs> so you've never tried that before oh yeah it's nice that do you actually like that yeah no it's, not, it's like a gingerbread latte a little bit isn't it yeah yeah, because gingerbread, I'm sure that has... Does that have cinnamon in it? Yeah, gingerbread? definitely. Do you know that? Yeah, it's not bad. Oh. Like, not for this time of year, but... Well, it is autumn in a couple of weeks, so maybe... We'll take it, it's fine. Um, anyways, we've had a lovely morning. We've just been pottering round... What have we done? Bus, Bus tour. tour. We went round the other route, which was actually really nice. That's our favourite route, isn't it? Yeah, Chelsea and Kensington. Favourite route. Kensington Gardens. We've just been wandering round. Yeah. Pottering. We have. Time has escaped us today a little bit though. Mm. I feel like we've been, we're, we're against time a little bit. It's half past two now. Yeah. We're just sat on the riverbed. Um, yeah, actually, before we continue, can I just show you our view? How stunning. Wild Starbucks. Sat with the Starbucks with this beautiful view. Beautiful. Anyways, Tom, sorry, continue. No, you're all right. And then we actually are going to go and get the boat. I think we mentioned that earlier on that we had the free. Riverboat, is that what it's Free called? Free River Cruise, yeah. Um, we got that with our bus passes. Yes, bus passes, get... bus tour tickets, you know what I mean? <laughs> River Cruise up. I don't know whether you can get it there and back, so hopefully we can, but if not, we get it there and the bus back. Right, okay. And then we'll be, it'll be about time to probably go and get ready for tonight's show. Go Grease Lightning, we're speeding through the... What is it? I have no idea. Go Grease Lightning, we're burning through the speed of light. Is that right? Sounds nice. I think that's right. So we've just got to TGI Fridays. We're actually meant to be coming here for half past five. What time is it now? About ten past? Yeah, literally ten past five. But literally the day to day, I don't know why just or how it has literally it? escaped because the day's like run away with us. So we were meant to be going back to get kind of freshened up and then coming to see and then going to the theatre. But we actually worked out that we'd have more time if we just came here first. Yeah. It, went and got changed then went to the theatre because the theatre's not till half seven the show is it so no so if we get there for like seven we can still have a drink and that can yeah 100 percent. now i don't even need to look at the menu because i always get the same thing i always get the jack daniels chicken and the garlic and cheese fries tom you never get that and then he, al he always has a bite of mine and he's like right next, next time, time do not me. let me get a burger make me get what you get so then i remember last time we came i was like tommy you're getting what i get and you're like no i'm having the burger yeah. so this time you're not I'm not. You're getting what I get because you am. love it and you always forget. Name me a better meal. <laughs> Literally. You've caught me taking a picture of this. This is the best. If you've not tried them, I'm pretty sure you will do, but it's the TGI Fridays Jack Daniels sesame chicken and yeah. then I like the garlic fries, but you've gone sweet potato. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy with my choice. Oh my god, it smells. It actually smells unreal, doesn't it? So it smells so, so good. But 
Peter Andre with Danny, but he's not. He's someone else, but he's still in it. I mean, knowing how I look, it'll be his night off after that. <laughs> um, we didn't actually realise that either when we booked it, it, so that's good. Um, but yeah, we're just about to go get a drink. We've got some sweets, and then yeah, we'll let you all know what it's like. So it's currently in the interval. As for someone that's not actually seen green. You don't see the Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I've never seen a film. Never. Oh. Never ever seen a film. Anyway, so Love far, the so good. I feel like it always makes it better when it's a musical with like good, well known songs. Yeah. Oh, it always 100%. makes it better. Yeah. Like, yeah, go, oh, sorry, go no, you're right. I feel like I know the storyline of Greece, but I've never seen it. You know, I always think of it with it. It's a little bit like High School Musical. You know, like, the start where they meet over summer and fall in love and then they change in front of the friend. Like, you know what I Oh, yeah, definitely, actually. That's now, it's really, it is, though, isn't it? Really, really good, though. And we've got amazing seats. Just show how far the stage is. The certificate has literally just come down, but that is my view of the um, thing. Honestly, Pe so Peter good. Andre doing a Peter Andre, do you know what? Job. Yeah, he is. oh yeah, fantastic. He's, what is it, what's the name? The D, not the DJ, the guy in the microphone. What's he called, Vin, 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 Vin. Okay, I hope you don't. I'll find out and tell you, but it's fantastic. But I full on came to this thinking Peter Andre and Danny. <laughs> It can't be Danny, he's, he's so, a little bit too old for Danny. What I would say, yeah, what I would say is if you're going to book this to see Peter Andre, just be aware that he's not really in it that much. He ain't in it that much. I did expect him to be in it a little bit more, but he ain't in it that much. It's but really, still, really, really, really still good. good. Yeah, loving it. the musical Greece the musical was amazing it was honestly so so good and what we were saying as well in the interval when we said Peter Andrew yeah. wasn't really in it he was in it so much more in the second he half he literally came to life in the second half so yeah, if you're going to see Peter Andre we take that back go and see it because <laughs> he was phenomenal it. yeah because he's in it a lot more but yeah. it was really 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 good he has we a lot of solos enjoyed and it. all sorts don't he yeah so he's a really good singer really good singer yeah. really really good singer but yeah. it was a really feel good musical it I was. thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it and then right off the end obviously as you've seen um they do like they ask you basically beforehand because it's Greece and obviously everyone knows the songs. They say don't sing along, so like yeah, which it comes I found, on. I found a bit strange. Yeah, it was like can we can we we ask you kindly? Can you not sing along? Can you can not you, sing? Can you not dance? You know, yeah, like, just not what? get involved. And everyone was like, <gasps> like at, at the start. Cause but then, like you were saying, you kind of understand because if you've got I someone understand. like screaming in your ear and you're trying to listen, like, when you kind of get it. But there was, to be fair, a, a couple of rows back towards like my side. A couple of rows back, you could hear a couple of people like singing along, yeah. but and it, it it's not that it it's not that it ruins it at all. It doesn't. But it doesn't for us. You're not there to listen it, to someone else sing. This. You're listening yeah. there to listen to them sing it. So I understand completely why. Yeah, and it wouldn't ruin it for us personally. Like no. we're all for it. Like you do you. You know, crack on, have a sing song, mm. have a dance. But I can understand why it does annoy some people. Yeah, so I Anyways, understand why they do it. But yeah. then at the end, they do like the big sing along where they come out and sing all the songs. Not back to back, but only little clippets of each song. It's like um, sing it all. Uh, what's it called? Mix up, mashup. A mashup, yeah. Is that the, what it's of called? the entire playlist. 
and they, they say like get your cameras out film get it up, you know get up up. sing dance do whatever yeah. and it, that that bit was mint yeah so we did film like you'll have just seen that so mm. hopefully you'll have seen like a bit of a snippet you'll have seen peter andre you'll have seen the cast but yeah we're tired of a cast were that. unreal by the way yeah, like, they, were. they were so good it was really good unbelievable anyways we are going to go ahead and end this vlog here we're going to start another one now because we've got another a day and a half would you say ah two days a couple of days but we're going to start another vlog just because we didn't want it to be too long so we yeah. are going to end this one here we really really hope you've enjoyed it if you have please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a video and we shall see you in the next one bye, bye.